What's up, everybody, and welcome back to some more Judgment Apocalypse Survival Simulation. Now, I accidentally messed up the audio and footage for one of the videos, so I'm going to give you guys a quick recap what we lost, and then we're going to jump right into the next one. So, uh, quickly, we ended up taking the research here. We spent our research materials on logistics, which you can see here. After that, I started laying out the base sum, kind of deciding where I wanted to go with our kill box. After that, we had our biggest attack yet, where I accidentally left Joshua outside the base and... Oh my god, is he going to make it? I don't even know if he's going to make it back. This was like really nerve-wracking actually. That's why I wanted to make sure you guys saw this. There's a lot of demons coming in. Like I said, biggest attack we've had. And I, I didn't realize the demons were that much faster than our, uh, our poor little humans here. So they started catching up on Joshua pretty quickly. I was kind of panicking. You see him moving a lot of people around here. And I kind of got Hyper up there to shoot that Hellhound off. Hyper actually going in for the kill shot there, which was like a really big deal. That Hellhound probably would have uh, sent Joshua to an early grave if it wasn't for Hyper. So Hyper, save your ass, Joshua. You're welcome. We fought the demons off here. And even though, like I said, this was the largest attack we had, hiding behind these fields here ended up being a success. And we beat them off, which is pretty good. Then we ended up having this pop up here where essentially desperate times we had to spend materials to help with research. So we we're going to take a research penalty for both re just regular research and occult research during this time. So I needed to focus on getting one of these up here so that way I could hopefully raise the spirits of our merry band. And here we are getting ready to clear out the area, the quest area that needed to be done where I made a very stupid mistake after clearing out a large group of demons. I quickly ran south and ran our entire group into a large group of fire, am uh, fire imps and some hellhounds, some reapers as well. It did, uh, it looked grim at first, actually. It looked like I was gonna probably lose some people here. I was pretty upset at myself for making that quick click and moving everybody in, but it looks like we got everybody situated here and we kind of fought them. And the hellhounds dropped pretty quickly once I got things under control. And then after that, the imps went as well and ended up just being the reaper. So I need to be careful in the future if that was a group of demons, a lot more hellhounds, werewolves, stuff like that. It could have really turned deadly. And last but not least, here is the final part of that episode where we've got the army connection here we need to find a secret military outpost in the northeast so that's going to be our goal for continuing on with the mission and completing the game so hope you guys like my little recap here actually let me know down below in the comment section what you guys thought of this i thought this is kind of a cool way to recap this maybe something to use in the future if this ever happens again or most importantly something to consider maybe for series that only need something like a recap and don't really need full-blown recording. But there you go. Let's get on now with the next episode. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to some more Judgment Apocalypse Survival Simulation. Look at our base. I'm proud of it every time I look at it. It's the farthest I've made it in the game. I've never even made it to walls. Um, we're doing a really, really good job. And I think that this is just absolutely great. We haven't lost a whole lot of people as well, so we've managed to keep it together. But this episode is going to be all about heading out into the world and getting a couple of those things done that we need to get done. I do want to keep exploring some of these locations. Most importantly, I want to find that location we've got to find over here. Um, I believe it was a top secret military base. Find a secret military outpost in the northeast. So we've got to find that as well. Northeast. Hmm, so it could be up here. There's water here, so it's got to be either that way or that way. Some military bases there. It's probably going to be special, specially marked, though. I do want to keep clearing these locations out 
around us. It'd be cool if there was a mechanic in the game that would be like, you know, the more locations you clear, a little bit safer the world becomes. Like say we clear out enough locations, like five or 10 locations on the map, and this drops by just one a day. Um, just small changes, but something that makes you feel like your, your progress clearing locations out. Um, you know, there's some progress there. Uh, we did make it so we could put six people in the group here, which is great. We were recently attacked, so everybody's, you know, sort of healing up. I found that this isn't really totally worth it because it uses up our medicine and medicine is not cheap. So the only time I would feel like it'd be worth it to use that would be if, um, like, we were about to get attacked again back to back or something and we needed to heal people up quickly. But aside from that, once we search all these scavenged locations on the map, medicine's going to be kind of a pain to come by. So I guess it's kind of something we just got to keep in mind if you're going to use it. But I guess it's nice at least to have the option. If somebody's like so close to death, they're about to die and we needed to heal them real quick, we could do that. So get a nice good amount of metal here. I do want to get everybody equipped with the better armor. Uh, looks like we've already almost got a lot of that. We'll get tombstone swapped out here. Then we can get all of that other armor traded once the time comes. And we only need to make one more, which I think it was already queued up, right? That's what I was seeing there. Yep. And it looks like actually that's what's being worked on now and it's done. So everybody's got the new armor, the improvised armor. All of that other stuff can be traded when we do get the chance to trade. Uh, yes, we've got the desperate times too we got to do. So we're either doing this. It's going to take... Um, Let's see, I'm trying to read this so it's the other way. So it's going to take five of our boards, 20 scrap, and 15 clay. I guess we'll go with that. It works. Spirits are higher than ever. The spark has returned to your eyes. More than anyone, Elena is extremely motivated and is asking for a special assignment. Search the area for supplies. Search for equipment in nearby ruins. Um, search for equipment. Elena ran all the way to the nearby ruins, ignoring any dangers on the way. A while later, she made her way back to camp with a few scratches and a splendid new weapon, an Olympic bow. Better than any handcrafted bow found in Scavage. Oh my god. Elena, you... You dog. You absolute dog. Which, by the way, you have not even been named yet. We gotta name you. Alright, excellent. Damage 15. I, uh, wow. Wow. And that's why I did that versus the equip, uh, the equipment versus the materials. I figured she'd just run back with some materials. Um, I guess you can have that bow since you did find it. Now, how much better is it? And when damage 15, definitely faster attack speed, a little bit more range, a little bit more accuracy. Yep. And it has a special ability, focused shot. All right. And Elena, let's go ahead and get you named. Looks like we've got Tromaine next on the list. Congratulations, Tromaine. I got to take you off the list real quick. There we go. So you were in the game, my friend. And you found the bow, so you get to keep the bow. I was thinking about putting it in one of our people who are in the task force, but I think I'm perfectly fine with it going to the person who found it. Salem's Lot has presented you with a gift to honor your friendship. Well, thank you. Very cool that we got other factions here sharing things with us. Still want to build the foundry. Still haven't figured out how to. What is next in terms of building? I do want to get rid of these so we can make the wall go across here. The next attack is a ways away. So that is something we could do. Um, but in terms of constructing, between the trees and all of this stuff, there's a lot of constructing already happening. So we probably don't have to worry about it. Shark bait's been plenty busy just trying to get the trees up. And we're going to want to get these trees cut down here soon too. Even though we've got a decent amount of wood, we're getting the clay. Trippin and Archangel working together on that. Farming is happening. There's plenty of food, plenty of water. Things couldn't go any better. Oh, okay. That's an enemy scouting party nearby. Well, we know what we're doing. We're going to go ahead and take that out. Now, let me see here what we've got so I remember. So it's 40%. And regardless of what's here, we have to deal with it. So let's go attack it now. If that drops us down to 25 or 30%, that'd be pretty good. I always enjoyed enjoy that. 
that uh, reduction in the awareness meter. Although I do got to say, sometimes does it make sense to bring them to your base, base versus going out and fighting them out here? I mean, technically we're at a disadvantage out here. We don't have the home field advantage. We don't have our base defenses. We don't have any choke points and we have less people. So I'm starting to wonder if it really makes sense to come out here and deal with it this way or if it would make significantly more sense to deal with it back at home base. Like for example, now we've been caught off guard, <laughs> you know, so uh, luckily it's a, just a bunch of imps. So yeah, we've lucked out big time. There we go. If the other if the other creatures like the werewolves and the the reapers were in there, we could have been in trouble. Okay, like these guys are coming right now and they're going to spot us any second as soon as this gets in here. So let's have Tombstone and Hyper here on the truck. Get you on the truck and everybody else. Oh, Sharkbait's actually got that rifle too, which is fine. job yeah go for the reaper all right and there we go i think it's probably easier than getting attacked you know the stuff that's there but i still can't decide what would be better for us all right i guess once the task force out let's go ahead and try and see if we can find that location or at least find a place to raid and 13 percent, so that's not bad so we can leave that kind of hanging whilst we go out and do a little bit of exploring. I see there's some military bases here. Do any of these military bases have anything that we got some medical supplies, canned food, mystery item there. Ooh, a haunted glade, a succubus hellhound, two demons and a ghost. But we got demonite cloth and mystic vines. These vines have mystical properties and can only be found deep in the forest areas. They're uncommon though, so I don't see how that helps us out too much. We do have, ah, there is resin found in scavenged forests. So we can get resin here if we want to. This one actually has alcohol and something unknown, but Jesus, I don't know if it would make sense to do that. This one isn't too bad. The five hellhounds kind of suck. Some army bases. These ones have weapon parts. They get a lot harder the farther out you get. A fallen angel. And then we've got a mining town. So metal or stuff like that. Aether, arcane scrolls. We've got legions, demons. We aren't ready for half this stuff. Okay, so the military base is not over here. I would like to get some of that resin though. I think we could fight this group. So let's go ahead and do that. So we can get that resin. I'm actually going to do this manually, this one here, because of the hellhounds. It could be a doozy. Let's just find an area to set up, an open area. It's nighttime, which really is unfortunate. Ah, perfect, perfect, perfect. I mean, kind of perfect, but not really. All right, let's put shark bait back here. Let's put Tombstone back here and Hyper right here. And Trippin and Joshua here. And Archangel right here. There we go. Good shot. If we can keep the Hellhounds at bay, that'd be perfect. Minor Demon, Hellhound, Fire Imp, here they come. We're gonna shoot the Fire Imp, shoot the Hellhound for sure. The Minor Demon I'm not as worried about. Ooh, another Hellhound though. Let's get tripping down here, helping. Try to shoot this Hellhound real quick. I'll have Shark Bay keep going for the Fire Imp. All right, and there we go. Hopefully got a lot of resin. We need it for a couple things. 52. I'm going to say that that score doubling thing here kind of kicked in. 
or the scavenge doubling. So we'll be able to get more resin from here later on too if we want to come down and grab it. And it's not that well guarded, so looking for anything else maybe to hit on the way back if there was something else we needed. That mm, could be good. Let's hit that one up and then let's send our group home so they can get well rested. I don't dare auto resolve anything like this. All right, looks like we'll be able to set up right here in this area. We'll put shark bait here, hyper. And tombstone back here. And they should all have pretty good cover from this. Sandbags actually would be nice. Okay, this minor demon is going to come up here, which is good. Actually, could probably take him out. Yep, I was hoping we'd be able to take him out before he got to us. This is kind of my plan anyways. Okay, here we go. I want to shoot the hellhounds though. Just let us kind of tank this real quick. There we go. See, you can see Trippin's not taking hardly any damage. Okay, now he's taking some damage, so. Okay, perfect, but that worked. We're sending them back anyways. Let's see if we got something good. We got another rifle. I'll take that. Could always trade it if the traders show up, but I think I'll end up keeping it. Tombstone has a... He doesn't have the rifle, so... All right, let's send our group home. Want them to rest up anyways. Still got a ways for another attack, but... If we get the opportunity to head out and find another person, we're going to do it. Let's give Tombstone that rifle. All right. And how are we doing for research? We can get weaving now and move right down into medicine, which actually uh, let us unlock medicine. So maybe if it doesn't take too much to make, we could do that. And this here can all be chopped because I'm going to want to get more trees planted. And what's shark bait doing? He's supposed to be doing the building. There he goes. And what else? Okay, we can get some stuff here. Demon anatomy, that's exactly what I want. Damage plus 7%, that's gonna be huge. That's a big difference. And we can work towards some other stuff. Soul foraging, dark magic, holy magic. <clears throat> I think I'm gonna work on some rituals for a bit though. Probably gonna go for the lucky bounty ritual. Which will help us out some. Oh, okay, Sharkbait's almost got that planted, but he's not going to be too far off because after he's done planting that, he's got to go back to planting this. I do want to set these barricades up somewhat because I'm trying to decide how I want to do my, my sort of uh, path into here. And I could shrink it down to a one path area but i don't see if there's any benefit in that versus keeping it three paths some say that ideas are easy and execution is all that matters so we got a eureka 100 research and somebody leveled up and trippin actually leveled up so we keep working on his uh, evasion yeah i think i'm gonna want to keep working on the base some before i have Before I have trip in do. Do any more um, tree planting. And any more boards and more bricks. Which we just cut all that 
wood down, so 197 shouldn't be an issue. Now with the resin, we can do a couple of things here. Oh my god, I heard shooting. Tombstone's practicing. I guess that just helps him level up. I haven't seen any other sort of things with that. So. Reinforced out. First aid. Composite bow. All right. I don't think I want to break any of that down. I'm going to save all that for trading. All right, let's go for the lucky bounty ritual and then let's see. So double scavenge chance plus 10% duration 720. So it's just it's time 720. Hmm. Okay. I'll probably play around with that if we head out. The arcane foundry we can now build. Arcane rituals are performed here. And that can go inside here. So, why don't we go ahead and build that? There was a couple other things resin was good for. Mmm, the crossbow. But the only person using a bow now is Big Daddy and Tarsus. Which I guess might make sense. Let's uh deal with this level up first. Tromaine leveled up. Working on crafting speed, let's increase that. And how about for trade? We can make the crossbows just to trade. Um, Marie's Curse, read to gain the Marie's Curse skill, select survivors, it's a hex. Got a combat knife, a ghillie suit, some metal, academic thesis, 100 science research when opened. I haven't figured out how to open the ancient manuscript yet. I gotta look that up. Um, Demonite armor. So let's say I was to trade the uh, how much is the resin worth by the way uh say i was to trade these and the bows i get 120. yeah you know, if i wanted anything it'd be the ghillie suit or something all right so we just won't uh, worry about it for now let's let's go ahead make five arrows we'll make 10 arrows so we can make two crossbows for big daddy and tarsus unless we wanted to make i can use the resin to make the witch's bane which is a rare item make one of those actually although i might give that to somebody in our traveling group but then the rifle will stay back at home base so it don't matter It don't matter regardless. Okay, this is all done. We need to keep the base expanding. And then we need to keep trees growing, but I gotta decide. I guess I gotta decide how I'm gonna do this so that when they come down here, <clears throat> I'll probably just move it all the way up. I think I'm going to have them path through in a snake kind of. I'm going to expand this into the base some. They'll snake through and then I'll have sandbags aligned here so I can shoot through and my fighters will be waiting at the end. Maybe with sandbags up there so they can hit over the sandbags or something or next to the sandbags for the additional cover support. Something like that. I think that's what I'm going to do. I might just have it open up to here or something though because I'm going to need more gardening area. And then behind the, f the shooters will be where I plant my trees. So that'll probably be what it is, but that'll be the base. And then eventually we can span out further too as we go on. But I'm going to leave it off here since I'm out of time. I want to thank you all for joining me. Hope that you've enjoyed it. Look forward to seeing you next time.